Chemical reactions are described as so many molecules of compound A reacting with so many molecules of compound B to form so many molecules of compound C. In a laboratory, chemists need to know the relative composition of these compounds to carry out chemical reactions. For that, chemists came up with a unit called molarity. In this video, we will go through the definition of molarity and how to use it. Don't forget to take the mini quiz at the end of this video. The molarity of a solution is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved in one liter of solution. Therefore, in order to calculate the molarity of a solution, you have to divide the moles of solute by the volume of the solution. Please note that the volume is in liters of solution and not liters of solvent. Remember, a solute is the substance that is dissolved, while a solvent is the dissolving medium. A solution is a homogeneous mixture consisting of a solute dissolved into a solvent. Molarity is expressed in units of moles per liter. It's such a common unit, it has its own symbol, capital letter M, and is read as molar. For example, a solution labeled as 3M NaCl is read as a 3 molar sodium chloride solution, meaning there are 3 moles of sodium chloride dissolved in 1 liter of sodium chloride's solution. Now let's look at some examples to see how molarity can be used in chemical laboratories or in real life. Are you ready to take a mini quiz? Action. Question 1. Suppose you had 58.44 grams of salt, or NaCl, and you dissolved it in exactly 2 liters of solution. The molar mass of sodium chloride, NaCl, is 58.44 grams per mole. What is the molarity of the solution? To solve the problem, first we have to identify the given information and then identify what the problem is asking us to find. We know that the mass of the solute, the molar mass of the solute, and the volume of the solution. First, convert the mass of NaCl to the number of moles. Next, divide the number of moles by the volume of the solution to get its molarity. Question 2. A 355 milliliter soft drink can contains 39 grams of sugar. In other words, sucrose, the molar mass of sucrose is 342.3 grams per mole. What is the molarity of sucrose in this beverage? We know the mass of the sucrose the molar mass of the sucrose and the volume of the soft drink. First, convert the mass of sucrose to the number of moles. Then, convert the volume of the soft drink from milliliters to liters. The molarity of sucrose in this beverage is 0.32 molar. Let's look at one more example. Question 3. A solution is prepared by dissolving 42.23 grams of NH4Cl into enough water to make 500 milliliters of solution. The molar mass of NH4Cl is 53.5 grams per mole. Calculate its molarity. We know the mass of ammonium chloride, the molar mass of the ammonium chloride, and the volume of the solution. Convert the mass of the ammonium chloride to the number of moles. Convert the given volume from milliliters to liters. Now substitute the known quantities into the equation and solve. The molarity is 1.579 molar, meaning that a liter of the solution would contain 1.579 moles of ammonium chloride. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.